my beloved love. And that's why I'm saying here, if you don't respond to this person, subtly trying to manipulate your energy, trying to get you to reach out to make amends, if you remain in your open, relaxed, receptive state, and don't respond to that attempt, this person is going to have this dawning realization. And I see them almost like coming back rushing in. It might also happen sooner than you would think or imagine, with acceptance in the reverse position. Wow, and we have the card love. It's almost like this person's actions or behavior has caused some kind of separation between you that they ultimately are not going to want to accept. So it's like they self-sabotaged the situation here, but ultimately they aren't going to want to accept being apart from you because the love is going to be what breaks through here. Yeah, with the Five of Swords reversed, the Five of Swords upright is about someone just walking away, self-sabotaging, so that's definitely the energy this person has been in. But what they're going to be shifting into is more so that Five of Swords, or sorry, that's the Five of Swords upright. I don't remember which one they said, but the Five of Swords reversed is about this person compromising in communication, wanting an end to the separation here between the two of you. So it's almost like they're going to be doing a complete 180, just like that card, turning from the upright to the reverse position. They're going to go from thinking that they wanted to walk away, self-sabotaging this connection, trying to call your bluff here, to desperately wanting to re-enter your life, to communicate, or to make some kind of a compromise here. If this reading is resonating for you, I would love to hear from you in the comments under the video. Also, of course, if you are feeling that resonance, I invite you to subscribe to the channel, join our beautiful community of like-minded, conscious, creative beings here on YouTube. And I will be pulling one final card to close this reading from the Rumi Oracle. So, what is one final card for the beautiful souls? I heard hold your ground, as if that wasn't clear enough in this reading. Beautiful soul tuning in here, you are making the right choice by remaining in this self-focused, self-love-oriented state of being. And I actually feel like, although this person right now might be tugging on your energy, trying to get you to be the one to reach out, ultimately, your choice to remain focused on yourself is going to magnetically pull them back into your orbit. Now, of course, you can decide what to do with that or how to respond to them when they do come back in. And here we have the card Sacred Convergence. So I'm just going to read a little message here from the guidebook. Sacred Convergence indicates a coming together of souls in alignment with a greater cause. This greater cause is both personal and impersonal. There is an aspect of joining together for a common purpose, although that purpose may not be immediately obvious at the level of day-to-day -day consciousness. From Divine Muscular. Type yes, if you believe. 